Noah is 17 months old, 14 months adjusted, and I say adjusted because he was born at 25 weeks and is considered a micro creamie. One of the most special things about him is that he's actually a rainbow baby. husband and I lost our first pregnancy. I thought the first time was the worst thing that ever happened. When I found out I was pregnant the second time, I got to see his like the profile of his face. I got to see his hands and feet in ultrasounds. I heard his heartbeat. I was 25 weeks and three days on that day. He was only so big, he fit inside both of my hands and I cuffed him like this. So this was his whole foot and this was his whole head. Uh, he weighed one pound and 14 ounces. His eyes weren't even open yet. I was very sad to see him with wires and I couldn't see his face. Um, there were so many tubes and tape and wires. I didn't even know what he looked like. Not just the worst day in the NICU, probably the worst day of my life was on Christmas, kind of 20 something days of life now. It was my third time holding him. His levels kept dropping or dipping. His oxygen would dip really low and his levels weren't coming back up. I saw when nobody wants to see and that blue light came on and that means coding. That means that he was, he was about to flatline is what coding means. And it proved very hard. And my husband came out and I thought he was gonna tell me um, the news that I didn't want to hear but he actually told me that he pulled through and that they got him stabilized and that everything was okay. It turned out he just had a staph infection in one of his lungs. Over time you know more things get removed and he didn't need you know, oxygen anymore, and it was just a, you know, a little nasal cannula, and he had a really high palate due to being intubated for so long with the breathing tube. We were then told that he would have to have um, probably surgery to repair that. We were discharged probably about three days later. So we've been home for over a year now. And he still has therapy during the week. We have two therapies, usually occupational therapy and caring therapy. He has surgery. Um, he'll be getting his cleft repaired along with tubes inserted in his ears. And that will just hopefully make his speech and hearing so much better. This journey of motherhood and pregnancy and everything was not what I expected, um, was not what I thought was going to happen when I took that test and I was so excited and I found out and everything, um, but I, I don't know anything else. I don't know what else it's supposed to be like um, because to me, this is just the most amazing, um, it's just the most amazing feeling and I think my purpose in life was to be a micro-premium mom.